Hello everyone, this is my friend's watch. I did get around to completing it. Um, I found myself with some spare time yesterday, so I thought I'd crack on. Um, I managed to get a chapter ring and handset from Seiko Mods. I couldn't find originals. The dial is a genuine Seiko dial. Um, I did do a comparison video with the knockoff one I got from AliExpress. Um, surprisingly, it was uh, a very accurate copy. Uh, this dial is a matte finish. The AliExpress one was um, a sunburst finish. Uh, I did a loom test on it. That's why I bought it. I wanted to compare the loom. Um, but you can imagine how that went. Uh, I'll release a short video on that as soon as I get time. Um, obviously the Seiko dial is what really makes this watch now is because it is unmarked, the Luma Bright is nice and bright, um, the handset looks fantastic, they're good quality, which is what I was hoping for from Seiko Mods, they're good quality hands. Uh, the second hands is polished all the way through, whereas I think the original is um, white at the second markers all the way down. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the bezel ring my friend gave me to put on there. That was his choice with this strap. Um, I'm not sure if it's new or not. I don't think so because there's a couple of marks on it. But nevertheless, it looks smashing. Um, it's kind of opened my eyes up to the SKX. This is the first one I've had to handle. Um, I think with the NH36 movement in it, it becomes a viable watch for 2021. You've obviously got hacking and hand winding with both of those. So, but you still retain the Seiko engine in it. So, yeah, really pleased with how it turned out. I did give the case a bit of a polish while I was at it. Um, I removed the bezel ring and cleaned up all inside there. It wasn't too bad, but it was a bit gritty. Um, it wasn't arduous to do. Um, and it's also got the signed crown as well. So... Yeah, I'm going to hang on to this for a week, make sure everything's pucker. Um, when the other watch comes, I'll do a kind of comparison. I'm going to try and do this SKX and alternatives that you can look at. If you're like me, that want that usability of the 200 meter diving and hacking, hand winding, but you're not prepared to pay the premium the SKX is now asking. Um, I'm hoping to borrow another watch to include in that kind of comparison. So, but I can see the appeal of these. There, it's a uh, it's a lovely looking watch. I like the K shape. The dial is simple. It's very visible. It's very easy to read. So, it's a, it's a pity that they just didn't update the SKX with the new movement and then H36 movement and possibly the Sapphire and just leave it at that but there doesn't seem to be a Seiko alternative and I'm sure it will be a lot of money when it is released so the handset loom does match the Seiko dial which I was expecting coming from Seiko mods uh, the longevity of it seems to match the dial also so no issues on that front it was worth spending a bit extra from Seiko Mods to get it. I think if I'd have got some from AliExpress, they would probably have formed as well as the AliExpress dial, which would have been disappointing. So overall, thumbs up. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to pop some um, pictures I've taken outside and also a short loom test video so you get an idea of what it's like. But it is just an SKX at the end of the day. Um, it is 90% an SKX, it's 99% new apart from the case. Um, there's a thousand and one videos online about the SKX, so I'm not going to go into dimensions, etc. and weights. So I know he has ordered a bracelet strap for it also. Um, we'll see what that's like when that arrives. Um, if it's here at the same time I do the loom video, uh, the um, comparison video, I'll stick it on that and we can all have a look. Anyway, enjoy the video. Have a good weekend and I'll see you later.
quick loom shot video. Um, I'm not going to let it run for too much longer. I've just given a blast of a UV torch. The hands are off the market, as I said, they come from Seiko mods. The colour match is good with the um, original Seiko dial. The loom pip on the replacement bezel is blue. So that's uh, the difference. You either like it or you don't. Leave this to run for 10 minutes and we'll see how it gets on. Um, be interesting to see if the hands fade quicker than the dial. Hopefully not, it'll be uh, comparable. Right, we'll leave this to run for 